Polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, is a common endocrine disorder affecting 5 to 10% of women of reproductive age. Its significance in women's health cannot be overstated, as it stands as the leading cause of infertility in the United States. PCOS typically manifests during puberty and tends to progress over time, underscoring the importance of early diagnosis and intervention. As healthcare professionals, Recognizing the signs and symptoms of PCOS early can significantly impact a patient's long-term health outcomes and quality of life. Clinical Presentation The clinical presentation of PCOS is diverse, with irregular menstruation serving as the primary indicator. However, patients may experience a constellation of symptoms that extend beyond reproductive issues. These can include persistent acne, unexplained weight gain, chronic fatigue, sleep disturbances, including sleep apnea, and mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. Two key visual cues that healthcare providers should be alert to are hirsutism, characterized by male pattern hair growth, and acanthosis nigricans, which presents as areas of thickened, darkened skin, typically in body folds. The latter is particularly significant as it's often indicative of insulin resistance a common metabolic feature of PCOS. Diagnosis Diagnosing PCOS relies on the Rotterdam criteria, established in 2003, which requires the presence of at least two out of three key features, ovulatory dysfunction, clinical or biochemical signs of hyperandrogenism, and polycystic ovaries as visualized on ultrasound. The diagnostic process typically begins with ruling out pregnancy and other endocrine disorders through blood tests measuring FSH, prolactin, and TSH levels. Transvaginal ultrasound is often employed to visualize ovarian morphology, though this is generally avoided in adolescent patients. It's crucial to note that while serum androgen levels are the primary basis for diagnosis, other conditions that may present similarly, such as androgen-secreting tumors or Cushing syndrome, should be excluded. Diagnosis of PCOS in Adolescence Diagnosing PCOS in adolescence presents unique challenges due to the overlap between normal pubertal changes and PCOS symptoms. The transient nature of menstrual irregularities and hormonal fluctuations during puberty can confound diagnosis. Therefore, criteria for adolescents focus more heavily on persistent abnormal uterine bleeding patterns and clear signs of hyperandrogenism, either clinical or biochemical. Pelvic ultrasound is generally reserved for cases where there's a suspicion of an ovarian tumor based on serum androgen levels or the degree of virilization. This cautious approach helps avoid overdiagnosis while ensuring that adolescents with PCOS receive timely intervention and support. Treatment strategies. Management of PCOS is multifaceted, addressing both the underlying hormonal imbalances and their manifestations. Lifestyle modifications particularly weight loss and regular exercise, form the cornerstone of treatment, especially for overweight or obese patients. These interventions can markedly improve insulin sensitivity, regulate menstrual cycles, and alleviate symptoms like hirsutism and acanthosis nigricans. Pharmacological interventions play a crucial role in symptom management. Combined oral contraceptives effectively regulate menstrual cycles and reduce androgen levels, while progestin-only options offer alternatives for those unable to use estrogen-containing contraceptives. Metformin, traditionally used in diabetes management, has shown efficacy in improving insulin sensitivity and promoting ovulation in PCOS patients. For those struggling with significant hirsutism or acne, antiandrogen medications like spironolactone may be considered. In cases where infertility is a primary concern, Referral to reproductive specialists for ovulation induction or assisted reproductive technologies may be necessary. Long-term monitoring and risks. PCOS is a chronic condition that requires ongoing monitoring and management. Regular follow-ups are essential to assess treatment efficacy and make necessary adjustments. 
Healthcare providers must be vigilant about the increased long-term health risks associated with PCOS. These include a higher likelihood of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, endometrial cancer, obstructive sleep apnea, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The interconnected nature of these risks, often stemming from underlying insulin resistance and hormonal imbalances, highlights the importance of a comprehensive, long-term approach to PCOS management. Regular screenings and proactive interventions can significantly mitigate these risks and improve overall health outcomes for patients with PCOS. Patient Education and Support Empowering patients through education is crucial in PCOS management. Healthcare providers should take time to explain the condition in detail, including its causes, symptoms, and potential complications. Emphasize the importance of lifestyle modifications, treatment adherence, and regular checkups. Patients should understand that while PCOS is a chronic condition, it is manageable with proper care and attention. Encourage patients to seek emotional support, whether through professional counseling or support groups. Many find comfort and valuable insights in connecting with others who share similar experiences. Providing resources for reputable support networks and patient education materials can greatly enhance a patient's ability to navigate life with PCOS effectively. Take-home message. PCOS is a complex endocrine disorder that requires a comprehensive and compassionate approach to care. As healthcare professionals, our role extends beyond diagnosis and treatment to include patient education, support, and long-term health management. By staying informed about the latest research and treatment modalities, we can provide optimal care for those living with PCOS. The multifaceted nature of PCOS necessitates a collaborative approach, often involving endocrinologists, gynecologists, dermatologists, and mental health professionals. By working together and empowering our patients with knowledge and support, we can significantly improve their quality of life and long-term health outcomes. Question number one. What is the primary indicator of polycystic ovary syndrome? The correct answer is C. Irregular menstruation is the primary indicator of polycystic ovary syndrome. Question number two. Which of the following is not one of the three key features in the Rotterdam criteria for diagnosing PCOS? The correct answer is D. Diagnosing PCOS relies on the Rotterdam criteria, which requires the presence of at least two out of three key features, ovulatory dysfunction, clinical or biochemical signs of hyperandrogenism, and polycystic ovaries as visualized on ultrasound. Question number three. Which of the following is not a long-term health risk associated with PCOS? The correct answer is D. The increased long-term health risks associated with PCOS include a higher likelihood of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, endometrial cancer, obstructive sleep apnea, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.